Hey whoever's watching, so I'm uh, gonna make some channel art for my channel. I decided, you know, I was like, start off. So I have Blender opened here. I'm gonna go ahead, select all, just delete everything in the scene. Go to the create tab over here. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to model a pen. That's going to fit in in my channel art somehow, but whatever. Um, right, so that's it's a cylinder. Cylinder is a good place to start by modeling a pen. Go into edit mode. Scale this thing down a little and over here, scale it up like that. There. Now go over here. Pull that up. And come and click here, which means you'll be in face select mode. Select this face over here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to press E to extrude, right click, press S to scale, scale it in slightly. Now press E to extrude again, Just extrude it outwards very slightly like that. Left click, press E to extrude again, right click and scale it out until it is slightly bigger than that. Now press E to extrude about that much. Now E to extrude again, scale it out a little bit, E to extrude again, scale it out a little more, E to extrude again, scale it out a little more, no, E to extrude, scale it down just a little bit, E to extrude, scale it down, right, now, um, okay, once more, scale it down like that, and let's see, press Z to go into the wireframe, view, go to view, click on this to go into the orthographic view, go to view, front, there, now, Actually, I don't do that much. Here, about the same width as that. And then, um, okay, so here again, I'm going to do the same thing that I did before. I'm going to cl click Z again, hit Z again to go back into the solid view. Now I'm going to say extrude, scale in a little bit, extrude out just a little bit, extrude. Right click, scale out a little bit. Not necessarily bigger than the. Well, actually, maybe just a little bit. Or not. Or that much, say. And now, I'm going to say extrude. Um, extrude. Scale in. So this is the curved part of the pen, right at the bottom. I think. Oh well, I I guess that's all right. Extrude, scale, extrude, scale, extrude, scale. Um. Yeah, I think this needs. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go here. So. Press B for border selection. Select all of that stuff. And now scale that out a little bit over there. Rather undo. Scale that in a little bit and then scale it up a little bit at that point again. Like that. So that Alright, that's the shape of the front of the pen. Now what I'm going to also do, that we have this selected, is, um, oh wait, oops, okay, I think I, I'll actually, yeah, I should, okay, so I'm going to go to select, more, so that selects that in there, select, more, so that's everything below the grip of the pen, essentially. Now scale that in and scale it up like that. Well, not quite that much, maybe. 
uh, about that much say there so now I might as well start assigning some materials to the different parts of the pen so for that what you do is you go into the materials tab over here say new material I'm going to let everything be as it is I'm going to check mirror because I want it to be shiny turn up the reflectivity to whatever 0.8 something turn down the gloss a little bit because otherwise it just looks unnatural that's what it's going to kind of look like then I'm going to go here view front I'm going to go into the wireframe view deselect everything by pressing A then press B select all of this now go to select more so that is all of the grip and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new material this is just going to be black maybe a little bluish like that turn down the specular reflection intensity because it's rubber and yeah so that's there's no mirror reflection in that then I'm going to select this stuff okay that didn't work Let's select that stuff oh by the way I pressed C for the circle selection this when you press C you get the circle you can use that to deselect things using the middle mouse button or select things using the left mouse button so I selected all that and uh, now add a new material to this here's what I'll do let's say plus that and uh, now use change this wait did I just I think I did I make a copy of that yeah I did right I'm, I'm confused okay when we <laughs> let's oh boy okay that's right you can change that otherwise there would be no point to it really what I'm going to do basically here is just change that make it a little bit greenish maybe right and also turn down the gloss because you don't want the body of the pen to be quite as glossy as the forward part and now you assign this to what you've selected well actually you should assign it to this as well like that then I'll go back into the solid oops that that's not what I had in mind okay let's let's just do that again shall we let's go here view front select that stuff select more and okay so we, I did change the material so that's well to object mode remove that material slot go into edit mode again so you can't remove a mater material slot in edit mode that's uh, whatever add a new material mm, do the same stuff here so uh, yeah basically this is um, this is going to be same stuff make it a mirror increase the reflectivity decrease the gloss a little bit that's what you have there assign it to that right uh, that and then you go here you select all of this stuff that select more and assign this material to that so what you have is that now this well this one whatever this one is a little too green to make that wait what just have okay there that little not quite so green there that's that's good now I'm going to do I'm going to go here I'm going to go back into the perspective view now 
select that extrude scale it in extrude out extrude scale it out like that so this is basically the part where you know what it has to be longer uh, extrude it a little more like that this is the part where the clip goes on um, so we'll put the clip on later like that so there we go now extrude that out a little bit and maybe do a little bit of this like that so that we have essentially the hole where the clicking thing of the pen will be you know what I think this is a little too fat so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here I'm going to go into the vertex selection mode by clicking there view front and orthographic select this stuff yikes is there something else selected yes we have to make sure to deselect that now I'm going to scale this out a little bit like that grab it press Z to lock the translation to the Z axis and then scale it scale it down uh, yeah now go over here use a circle select all of that stuff scale it in here now make sure if you do stuff like this you do it in the wireframe view because otherwise the stuff at the back is not going to get selected only the stuff at the front will get selected when you do that so I just want to make sure you do that and um, that now select all of this and scale it a little bit like that maybe I think that looks a little better scale it yeah, uh, move this up perhaps there I think that 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 looks better there we go now you select this bit over here um, by going back into the front view uh, to face selection mode press A just to make sure press it twice to make sure everything is deselected you can use the border selection tool to select this and assign this material to it there we go so that is one part of the pen complete okay here's what you can do um, just to give it a little more authenticity if you will uh, okay yes so you select that face move it up there scale it out a little and then do the old uh, extrude inwards thing to make it wait what am I no I want the front view right now extrude that like that just no uh, that's that's more than enough there you go so now you have one part of the pen which is ready except for one thing and that is a subdivision surface modifier since I am going to use this uh, for making a picture I want to make sure that it's smooth and so what I'm going to do well first what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put that a little lower scale it down just to give it more of the look that I want like that and then I'm going to add a subdivision surface modifier how you do that is you go you click on this little wrench here you go to add modifier subdivision surface and now that smoothens stuff out but it also alters the geometry or well the shape I should say of your object so for the most part it looks alright 
there's a few places where you can fix it using loop cuts as I'll show you so you oops okay just zoom out a little bit press control R and you're getting coming to this mode where you can take your mouse around and shows you these pink circles you do that and now you see a bit of this material has overlapped into here because overflowed overlapped whatever you want to say um, because basically those surfaces and these are kind of being subdivided and uh, distrib distributed bit, uh, among each other so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press control R again and use the loop cut to kind of define the material boundaries better now one here there we go and everything else seems just fine I might want to change this to two, the number of subdivisions but the ren it's going to render two anyway but you can see by this number here so that's that's alright I think that's enough now we're done with this object um, off the pen might want to add a little something else like let's see suppose I go to view right and then I say control R and I add two loop cuts here and then I select a couple of faces and just apply this material to them uh, scale it up a little bit maybe and then do something like this no nope, that's not what I wanted to do uh, G Z select that G Z there something more like that let's see if that <laughs> makes it look any better I, I guess I guess it might you know the final the final thing it might or might not I, I have no idea anyway so uh, actually you know what I'll just let it be as it was so that's that's one object now let's make the clip so how do we do that well I'm going I'm going to do it with another cylinder because cylinders work so add another cylinder and okay so you see it has been added at the location of the 3d cursor which happens not to be the origin I just reset it to the origin there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and change this to the origin also so that comes there and another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go here going to go here and I'm going to rename this and I'm going to call this a uh, body or rather pen body because there's going to be other stuff in my scene later and then I'm going to make this by going here I'm going to make this a child of pen body now what happens with that is that when this moves around that moves around with it that's going to help quite a bit while arranging our scene so now I'm going to move this up over there let's see view front uh, go into edit mode and choose the wireframe view so we know what we're doing move that oh boy you know what just go to optic mode move that to the middle right here that should should help. I'm going to edit mode, scale this down until you're about there. Now scale this in like that. Now you s what you can do is oh wait, there's you see that gnarly stuff over there, we want to get rid of that, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into the edit mode of this pen and just add a loop cut over there. Like that. There. 
So that's not going to be visible. Obviously, in a real pen, it's, it's going to be hollow all the way through. But that's we're not going to uh, doesn't matter to us because we're not going to be looking inside the pen. Now, we're going to object object mode. Select this. Going to edit mode. And there now. Go into view front and select a few of these faces from the middle that's that's what I'm going to do then move these out a little bit and extrude them also and then select these edges and move those forward then select these edges maybe move them a little forward select these faces and just start extruding them by going to view L okay that's the left all right doesn't really doesn't matter um now we want to scale this down like that that seems about right a little lower I think extrude it once more there now we can go ahead and just do something a little bit of a kind of oh well maybe not that much but something like that at the end of the clip and of course move this okay wait let's put a loop cut over here before we do that because uh, select this stuff and move it in over there until it's just about touching. So that is the clip of the pen. Um, you could you could play with that. You could make it a little. Uh, if you go to view front, you could make that a little. So a little bit of that maybe and also this is way too big okay wait we don't want to have selected this because it's going to that that I think is better and we could do that move that out just a little bit so you have something like that. Now you want to assign a material to this. I'm just going to uh, say this one and yeah there we are. Now of course this one needs a subsurf too. It'll look there we go and um, Another thing you could do is you could select all the faces on the inside here. So let's not look at the subsurf right away. And extrude them, scale them in just a little bit, scale them in on this axis a little bit more, and then extrude them that way scale it out that way so you have a kind of hollow uh, thing but that doesn't really work over here so what you do is you go into vertex selection mode select these vertices right here 
and bring that up like that that is more like what you might actually see right now of course this has to be fixed easy enough add loop cuts one over there one over there and I think it needs one here for whatever reason <sighs> there we go so that is the pen so far you know what I think we we just overdid the clip it's not a problem Can, uh, uh, well it is kind of a problem here's what I'm going to do I'm going to just go into edit mode and go into view left Z and I'm going to select everything other than the the ring which holds it there and I'm going to just scale it down put it there that seems more realistic I guess maybe a little longer though huh so just edit mode again make it a little bit longer there also a little closer to that I think looks better go into object mode and that is what we have now for the last step need to add the refill and the clicking thing so that's easy enough I'm going to go into the wireframe mode here view left and uh, add a cylinder right in the middle of this thing its parent is also the pen body grab it put it there scale it down like that go into edit mode select this face extrude up there Um, let me scale it out a little bit maybe there we go and there so that is the button of the pen probably do a little something to that later on and then for the point extrude that down and extrude that there, scale it in. Oh, wait. Okay. I see. So let's make this higher. And it is now in the unclicked position. So what we do is we go to object mode and put it in the clicked position. And now go back into edit mode and say that basically scale it down a little more maybe extrude out and just okay wait that leave that as it is not quite so much extrude out scale in Should. And just because you never know what's going to actually show up in your picture, I'm going to. Oops. There. Oh boy. Okay, this is getting kind of tiring. Extrude. Extrude. Scale. Extrude. Scale. 
extrude scale. I could have just put a sphere here, but whatever, doesn't matter. That is the ball of the ballpoint pen. It is not very ball like, is it? Um, select more, select more, select more, select more, move that down and take this whole thing, scale it up a little bit like that, scale it just out a little bit, select more and move this whole thing in there, that should be good enough. Oh well, that's, I'm not quite sure if... That could be the unclicked. There. Now this, I'm not... Here, just add a little something to the top of this because otherwise it's going to get really I to inset. And um, now select, see what we can do. What we can do is we can do that. Say select checker deselect. Oh, okay. Select checker deselect and um yeah extrude that down maybe just to give it a little bit of a now say you go over here in to materials you give this this material um because it just works and then you give this this material there you go now you can add a subsurf to this it's going to mess stuff up but that's okay you know how to fix that uh... well that's not exactly what I had in mind, but there. And there has to be a way in which, okay, here's what I'll do. Control F. Um, well, 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 okay, here, that's what I want. Uh, nope, that's actually not what I want. I could just inset that and that would fix the problem. There we go. Yeah, so that is the pen. And uh, there you go. Now you have a pen. You can do what you want with it. Uh, I'll continue from here in the next video.